Hey everyone, I'm just doing a doing an update video on my Tundra um, from the last one. I guess I didn't really realize that I that I do kind of have maybe two more issues with this truck that are that are uh, technical or related to the technology of the truck. And so it has to do with the Apple CarPlay. I don't I don't know if other people are experiencing this, and if you are, maybe you can comment you're able to get this sorted out but when I try to connect my phone to the Apple CarPlay uh, look, uh, through Bluetooth doesn't work I'll try for a while here and <clears throat> should pop up and say it's not working The weird thing is, is I can plug in my phone, the cable, the USB, and I can get an Apple CarPlay to work that way. But uh, via Bluetooth, it's just not wanting to pick up my phone. And I've disconnected the phone. I've forgot it completely, re-added it, and uh, it still won't connect. So that's what I get. CarPlay connection error. So, uh, yeah, so I'll forget my phone here. Forget. So, my phone's been forgotten. And I'll go to manage devices, add another device, search for devices. This might interrupt the video. If it does, I'll try to figure that out after. Hopefully it doesn't. So anyways, I know if I uh, if I go and hit, uh, well, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go and show you what I'm talking about here. So anyways, I was able to uh, reconnect my phone. Um, wasn't able to catch it on film, but uh, so again, CarPlay connection error, so I forgot it, I disconnected it, I I got my phone to forget the Toyota Tundra as well, and uh, can't get CarPlay to work with my phone right now, so yeah, I'm going to take it to the dealer for that. Like I said, if, if I want CarPlay to work right now, it's a matter of plugging this cable in here manually once I plug that in then it, it'll have Apple CarPlay pop up here, and then I can use the maps and stuff, but I have to select this icon here, the use for Apple CarPlay, and I have to disconnect these two. So it's got, it, it is annoying to have to do that. Um, I, I don't know what happened, probably two months ago, this problem started happening. I just kind of ignored it because I thought it would revert itself. Um, so it's, it's something that I'll probably get addressed at my next oil change or service date 20, in about 3,000 kilometers. So I'll get that dealt with then. <clears throat> but it is it is annoying. I've also been having uh, some issues with my fuel gauge now as well. Um, filled it up. I'm showing... It was showing 680 kilometers when I filled it up two nights ago. And then I drove it down a bit that same night. And then yesterday when I started it, it was showing, it was showing uh, close to 700 kilometers. I drove it all day yesterday. And then uh, in the evening, um, it 
went down from, or went, I drove it down to probably about 600 and, you know, 60 kilometers from it saying like 680 or higher 600 kilometer range. And then in the evening when I went to go out again, it was showing 680 last night when I was driving my kid to some sports. And then since then it's been going down regularly. My wife also had, she noticed an issue, a discrepancy with the fuel gauge as well. She put in some fuel, she filled it up and she was doing a drive with this truck, a highway drive. And, uh, <clears throat> and the fuel gauge didn't move for her. So it's just these two times that I've had uh, these situations or these issues with the fuel gauge and, or tank and um, when I checked the app yesterday to see if it would reflect the same mileage that the truck was showing it did so uh, I'll probably report it see what can be done but uh, I mean that's just I think some of the growing pains owning you know, it's luck of the draw, roll of the dice, whatever you want to call it. Buying a first new gen, first first year model run of a new generation of any vehicle. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not too upset, but I mean, it'd be nice if it wasn't happening or if I had better luck in that sense. So anyways, that being said... <clears throat> I am happy with the truck overall. As I've mentioned before, I haven't had catastrophic issues like a wastegate, like a turbo wastegate or something like that. I, I mean, that would uh, change my overall feeling on the truck, I believe. I mean, I, w I would want something like a seven-year warranty or a hundred and... 60,000 kilometers, you know, whichever one comes first kind of thing to give me more peace of mind with that. But um, that being said, I just wanted to share those those uh, two tech, technical issues I'm having right now. I think, uh, I hope they'll get sorted out and won't turn into a long-term have to live with it every day with this truck kind of thing, because that can become, uh, that's when it starts to get annoying, but just thought I'd do the update on this. Uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.